Hey YouTube, it's Dimitri, and today we're going to talk about somewhat of an update, somewhat of a perfect storm for failure here. Um, so I just finished running, and many of you know I've been training for a half marathon. Um, that was supposed to come, and will come, fingers crossed, uh, in October. So the race itself was canceled, it was moved to online virtual, which I'm debating on doing. If I do it, I'm going to probably try to map out an entire course around my house neighborhood at 13.1 miles to do all that. Um, but what's going on now with me <laughs> is a little bit too much chaos. I'm going to talk a little bit about the training here and the struggle of it in general. Uh, so right now I'm doing my full-time job. We had a big project come in. Uh, luckily, I'm not the lead on this project, so thank goodness for that. Um, but I'm still working on the project. I have a second project, which I've been leading for, I don't know, seems like forever, and it won't close. So these projects are always nightmares in themselves. Um, and there's politics involved with these things. It makes it messy and not so fun. So works a little bit stressful on me on that end. And then to top this off here, I had a baby, which is awesome. And I know a lot of you are like, you know, congrats, which is good. Um, but the issue with that is now I have struggling to get some sleep here and there because babies are up every two, three hours. So luckily ours is starting to calm down a little bit, uh, and sleeping like four or five hour stents here and there. So this means less sleep. This means higher stress. Uh, I'm supposed to go pick up a car that I own in Washington state soon, uh, due to a variety of other things. And so... And so I need to run and pick that up as well. Um, I have to find a weekend to fly up, load that, load a bunch of other stuff I have that I've had at home since I was a kid. Uh, I'm just gonna pick a bunch of stuff up, bring it all down. I need somewhere to put it. I have nowhere to park this massive old 1966 car. And so I'm trying to build a shop in the meantime. And <laughs> there's more stress on that because I have to go through the city to get permitting, building permits. Uh, code, inspections, I don't know, they might have to get a contractor's license, I have to go through my HOA process to get it approved. So I got that to work on, and then hopefully I can get at least the foundation poured. So when I say I'm building one, it's a combination of me subcontracting, meaning that I am paying someone to actually like do some of the work, like the foundation I'm gonna have poured, because I don't have the time to do it. Uh, but I wanna do all the framing, I'm wanting to do the stone and brick, so the masonry work. I'm wanting to lay all that by hand. Uh, I want to do all the finishing interior. I'll probably pay someone to do the electrical, and I'll probably pay someone to do the roofing as of now. I don't know. My schedule's been pretty crazy. And then I've got my you know normal YouTube, which is fine. I've got the podcast. Luckily, I've wrapped up. I think we're at eight episodes, maybe nine episodes wrapped up. And then I've got two guests I need to interview now for the podcast that are going to be coming on. Uh, they'll be coming on sometime during the season of the 12 episodes for season two, Closed Door, uh, Closed Doors. Um, anyways, that's all going on at the same time. I've taken on one quant conference presentation, which takes a long time to prep for a lot of you who don't know. It's only half an hour, but getting all the prep work done, putting it all together, doing the presentations, answering questions, and then fielding all of the social media aspects of marketing beforehand. Um, networking with people, connecting during the conference, looking at the other professionals that are gonna be there, preparing for any questions I might get from them. So that's all kind of wrapped in. And then I'm doing three one-hour presentations for a private presentations for a university club here in October, I believe. Um, and then I've decided to maybe take on another educational endeavor on itself. So <laughs> I've got too much stuff going on. Uh, I'm tired, I'm exhausted, like physically, mentally, like I just feel like I can barely even exercise or run now. And so this is like the perfect storm of where, you know, it's just like, you just don't do it, right? You just cancel it out, it's not a big deal. Uh, but I'm not gonna do that, right? Quants don't quit. So I'm not gonna quit, we're gonna finish this out here. We're so close, we're like a month away now, uh, depending on when I end up doing the race, if I sign up for a different race in October, um, I have realized though, from learning from this, that a lot of people have these really short windows for training for half marathons and marathons. And I always thought like, this is ridiculous, right? Why would you do such a short window? Why not just get really good shape, train for like a year, you know, nine, 10 months, and then jump into it? 
Um, I get it. If it's too short, right, you can't train fast enough. But if it's too long, most people won't stick it out to make the full training. So for me, right, it's <laughs> it's too long and it's hard to hit the training and the intervals. I was already up to running a few months ago before the baby came. So probably like June, I was running like 10 mile runs. So for me, that's awesome, right? Hitting that 13 was going to be cake. Now that we're looking at it, I'm dropping back down to like one mile runs, two mile runs. And then I did like a five mile run, five and a half. And then I'm back down to like a 5K every couple of days. So it's just, it's tough. Uh, <laughs> there's a lot of stress, a lot of pain, a lot of physical pain, mental pain here. Uh, I'm just pushing through that. But I'm going to finish up this half marathon. So I will post more about it. Uh, I'll probably just post pictures when it occurs or I don't know. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll see stuff. If you are on LinkedIn, I don't know if I'll post on there. But anyways, that's just kind of an update what's going on. This is like the perfect storm. This is like a great time to have an excuse and to quit what you're doing. Um, but I'm hoping you guys realize, just keep pushing, keep making things happen. Um, on a mental health perspective here, on a physical health perspective, like no worries. Um, I have all my schedule laid out and it's crazy busy and I have a list of like 50 other things I didn't even talk about that are going on behind the scenes here. Um, like merchandise designing and planning and all that. But, um, but yeah, so the takeaway here is like scaled down. So like I already have everything laid out. Like I mentioned, I have plans to like cut things out. Like I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm going to cut out. Um, the half marathon training right, will ease up in October because I'll be running again. I'll be not running. Like I don't have to train for it, but I'm not going to quit running because my physical health is of the utmost importance. Um, so I'm going to be still running, but again, I will be running a lot last like frequency and distance um but anyway so the takeaway here is my, me personally been crazy busy the half marathon's still gonna happen we're still gonna make that that all work um in real life like the real life takeaway for you as a subscriber is when you get crazy like this and if you have like lists of projects going and like you're having a hard time focusing and getting things done and you have like stress and you know lack of sleep and all these other things cut back your schedule, All right? This is what I'm doing now. I have a peak load right now. I have schedules to cut things out, projects finish out projects, get rid of them, take on a lot less projects moving forward uh, through the winter here in December, which will be good. So anyways, thanks for watching. Just a quick update. And as always, until next time.